There's mixed reaction tonight from Maui, where Oprah Winfrey recently bought hundreds of acres of ag land and upcountry. Homeowners have been reached out by investors and realtors offering to buy their land. And this is disgusting. Asking for money. Pure evil, in my opinion. In this time of need, uh, you want to take care of the greatest need of the people. And that's giving them money. I was thinking they look like running mates. Who's president? Oprah! That will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So if you send a donation... Maui has just undergone a tragic event. They have just suffered one of the worst wildfires in history. This wildfire has destroyed lots of property, leaving a lot of people homeless. In addition, hundreds of people were missing, with others having been killed in the fires. This is a great loss for the people of Maui. To support them, Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson have started a fund to help those whose homes were destroyed in the wildfire. But could all this be a front to get more money in their pockets? Could Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson be using this fund to scam the Maui fire victims? Let's find out more, shall we? But before we continue, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing celebrity gossip and updates. There are a lot of theories as to what started the Maui wildfires. However, we do know that these wildfires in Hawaii have killed more than 100 people and forced thousands to evacuate. These fires were supposedly fueled by a mix of land and atmospheric conditions, which created what can only be called fire weather. This massive blaze destroyed most of the historic town of Lahaina on Maui. And since it started, the search for victims has continued as hundreds have gone missing. A few days after the fires broke out, Hawaii Governor Josh Green said there was very little left of Lahaina. It is estimated that more than 2,700 structures were destroyed in what is now known as the deadliest U.S. wildfire in more than a century. According to Green, he expects the death toll to keep climbing. He told CBS News, There are more fatalities that will come. The fire was so hot that what we find is the tragic finding that you would imagine, as though a fire has come through and it's hard to recognize anybody. In the two weeks after the blazes spread, more than 800 people were reported missing, most of whom were children. However,